everybody. Good morning. This is Robin with Uniquely Robins. Um, we're going to finish up our, well, not finish it up. We, we're we going to finish up the pages today. Um, and then Monday we will have nothing left but decorating, which I think is the very funnest part. So, um, we're going to, I did cut the papers for where we left off. And that was right here at this little, um, kind of funky pocket that we made. Um, but I think it's kind of unique and, and I like it. So we're gonna start there. And I did get my papers cut and I did ink all of them, except for this one, evidently. I forgot to ink this one. I'm pretty sure I got all the rest, but I'll just ink this real fast. This one. Now, if you don't have to make your envelope um, journal this using this many envelopes. I think the challenge is only, f or the event one is only four. Um, does it go that way? Or does it go this way? This way, okay. I think it's only four envelopes and two pockets and I think five embellishments is all you have to have. Um, I just always have to go over and do more, I guess. That's just a personal thing of mine. But these little journals are so cute and they turn out so cute, especially when you think that you started with just junk envelopes. Things that would have actually been just thrown in the trash. I'll make sure I get this straight. Okay. And then actually lines up pretty good with that other side. I'm just going to ink this little bit of white that's sticking out there. It'll be underneath. You probably won't see it anyway, but, but why not? Okay. And now we're going to do the other side. Let me just double check to make sure I'm putting my glue on the right side. And it's a good thing I did because I wasn't. So I need to ink this other side. I always try to double check before I glue things down because if I don't, I'll be pulling it back up. Okay. My husband is on the way to take my grandson to his other grandpa's for the next couple of days. And he's been here since um, Christmas Day. And I have enjoyed it immensely. And I know my husband has too. They have been playing video games and um, all sorts of things. They made a, started a car model. And they made an airplane, a wooden airplane. And he painted, Andrew painted it all up. My grandson painted it all up. The colors he wanted. He had to come up to my craft room and pick out the colors of paint that he wanted for it. And he picked red, white, and blue. And uh, he had a ball making that. And they have just been doing all sorts of things. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I have to tell you this. It is hilarious. Um, last night, after the ball dropped and we did our little cheers and everything, passed out our kisses to everybody. Um, my grandson was um, on the phone with his mom and wishing her a, a happy new year. And I was talking to her on FaceTime. And uh, at first I wasn't paying much attention to what they were doing because I was listening to my daughter. And uh, I turn around and look and Andrew is teaching his papal how to do a dance called the floss. <laughs> it was hilarious. And I turned the camera around. I'm going to have to trim this a little bit. I, I turned the camera around and <laughs> caught him doing it. <laughs> he was not real happy that I caught him, but it was so funny. But yeah, he was, he was teaching Papa how to dance. <laughs> 
You have really had to be there to see it, but I just laughed. It was so funny. Is my envelope crooked? Oh, that's why, because my envelope wasn't. Well, maybe it is. Wrong end. I need to pull it out the top a little. Okay. I may have to trim it off once I get it on there. How about that? Just a little smidge. But yeah, it was hilarious. There was another one he was teaching him how to do. I'm, I can't remember what the name of it was. Um, oh yeah, the hike, whatever that is. I have no clue. But then he had to try to teach Grammy and uh, my husband got me on videotape. <laughs> And he thought that was funny. And I said, well, I didn't get you on videotape. I just got you on FaceTime. He said, yeah, but your daughter's on there and she saw it. And I said, yeah, but she can't replay it for people. <laughs> but we had a good time. I am just trimming this a smidge because evidently I cut it crooked. Which... <laughs> I always do. I cut everything crooked if I try to do it by hand. Okay. Now this um, does have the black around the top and the gray around the bottom, but actually with this paper, the, the envelope itself, uh, but actually with this paper, I really like how that looks. So I'm going to leave it like that. All right, push that back in there where it goes. And then we have this side. And on this side, I've cut it to where we can use the window, and I've made it a side, uh, slide in from the side. So let me just double check that I got it correctly. Yeah, okay, I think so. And I did ink it, okay. So we're going to glue this piece down. I really hope everybody oops, had a happy new year. Um, and I hope this new year brings us a lot of prosperity and love and kindness. And none of that crappy stuff we had last year. <laughs> okay, now let's see if I can get this on here straight. That'll be the next challenge. And this way more. Go across this way more. There we go. I'm gonna have to push, put a little more glue, I think, in the little sides right there. So make sure I get it straight. Or, or ish, straight-ish, we say. Okay, and I am going to put a little bit right in here. That side's okay, I think. Now, you won't have this much problem if you um, cover your envelopes before you put them together, but I have a major problem with my hands sometimes not wanting to work for me very well, so by attaching it down at the top, it just helps me um, to keep things straight and straight-ish. <laughs> my hands have a tendency to shake a lot, and... Um, I had a stroke a few years back. It left some residual problems, but at least they're not tremors like they used to be. So I am thankful for that. I am just going to put a little ink inside here just so that thumb hole isn't stark white because I don't think I'm going to put a piece in there because I have a little tag here and... <coughs> And I just made this just a square out of the, the front part of the paper that didn't have the words on it because I hate wasting that. And I'm going to round the corners. I'm just trying to decide, do I want to round the top or just the bottom? I think just the bottom. 
then when we slide that tag in there, we have a cute little flower in the window. And that looks pretty cool. So we have that page. Now let's find our next one. And that is this one. And I don't think... Just checking to make sure I didn't make a pocket. I did not. Okay. So we're going to put this on there. I was really proud of my grandson this morning. He uh, said he, he didn't want to go, he wanted to stay. <laughs> and I said, well, I'm glad for that, that you want to stay. But um, your papa's expecting you, and your dad's expecting you to go. And I said, besides, you get to have a whole nother Christmas with, with your other papa. And he said, yeah, Graham, that's great. He's eight, mind you. He said, that is great. He said, but, he said, too many kids think that Christmas is just about presents. And it's not. Christmas is about Jesus being born. <laughs> and I said, you are absolutely correct. <laughs> and I was just so proud of him that, you know, he said that on his own. And, oh, look, I got ink all over my page. Well... When we go to decorate, I guess we're going to be inking that up a little more and make it look like it's supposed to be there. Because I can't believe I was that messy, but I was. All right. So, yeah, I, I was really proud of him that that he, he wanted to make sure that people knew the real meaning of Christmas. I need to get inside there, don't I? Almost, almost mustered up. Oops, flipped right at me. I have to pick that up off the floor. We're going to need to sweep again today. Okay. And like I said before, these pieces that we're putting on, if you just go around the sides and the bottom, you could make this an extra pocket. This one, I do think I'm going to put a piece inside there. Let's see if I can eyeball it. I don't know. I still got to hold my breath to make sure it works. Yeah, that'll work. That will do it. I know what my mom meant now um, when she got sick, sick and she said that um, she was all right until she couldn't read anymore because reading was her life. I mean, my mother would sit and read a book this thick every day. She, we used to have the, um, I took care of her at home. She was on a ventilator. And we used to have uh, the, the library bus come by. And the lady said, usually we only come out every couple of weeks or once a month. She said, but your mother reads so much. I will come out every week or every other, you know, every other week or every week for her if she wants me to. Which I thought was very sweet. And, of course, she did, because my mother was an avid reader. She was big on the reading. And she read all kinds of stuff. 
And if she couldn't find something to read, she'd read anything she could find. Machines, whatever. <laughs> uh, instructional manuals. She loved to read. But I do understand when she got so bad that she couldn't read anymore. She said then she just pretty much gives up because she doesn't want to live like that. And I understand that because if I think if I had to give up crafting, I think I would feel the same way. She had already pretty much lost everything else that she could do going places and sewing. She loved to sew. Oh, my mother sewed so much. She used to make my daughter dresses when she was little. Um, I mean, full, frilly, roughly, lacy dresses. Gorgeous ones. Um, and anytime she would make her a dress, my daughter had that, like a three foot tall doll that she just loved. And Every time she'd make my daughter a dress, she would make one to match for the doll. <laughs> but, and I always told her she didn't have to do that, but she just enjoyed it so much. I'm glad. I think my daughter actually still has some of those dresses in a, a trunk for her daughter when she gets older, a little older. She's, her daughter's so tiny now. I'm telling you, that little girl is tiny. She just turned three on December 23rd, Allison, my granddaughter. And uh, she still wears 12 months clothes. She's so tiny. She is a tiny little thing. Okay, now this one I made kind of like a collage. I'm going to glue this in the middle. And then I'm going to put these on the edges. Is that the side I wanted? Or was it this side? Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, yeah, so I don't think, I like the building that's on this, and it has like a pillar on this side, but I don't like that you're only getting like a tiny bit of that rose, so I think we're going to do it this way. I don't know if that's how I had planned it, but that's what we're doing. got the, my husband told me I should get the champagne glasses out so we could have a toast last night. So I went down to the basement and got the champagne glasses and washed them up and when I brought them out I handed my grandson his and he looked at me kind of funny and he said, Grammy, what is this? And I said, um, fruit punch? <laughs> he goes, oh, okay. I said, what did you think it was? He said, I don't know. I wasn't sure, but I'm not allowed to drink. <laughs> and I said, no, you're not allowed to drink. <laughs> but, uh, Papa had his wobble pop, which is what he calls it, which is, um, a beer in his wobble pop. And I had wine in mine, which we call jingle juice because I have a wine glass that I got last year that says, uh, jingle juice, my jingle juice on it, so it's kind of stuck, but now it's my jingle juice. And it was just so funny. I'm not allowed to drink. <laughs> like he would think I would give him alcohol. <laughs> and we just had one with our toast, and then him and Papa watched some kind of truck show on YouTube or motor trend or something like he has. They so watched that. And then we went to bed. I think it was 1, one or one thirty before we got to bed. Which is very late for us because my sister always tells me we're, we're old people. Which we are. <laughs> because we go to bed so early. Because we usually go to bed at, you know, no later than 9. Usually 8 or 8.30. But no later than 9. But my husband gets up to go to work at 3 o'clock in the morning, so 
We pretty much have to go to bed at a decent time. <laughs> now I had my, oh, where'd my other piece go? Oh, did you see that? I missed that one. They're gabbing away, not paying attention, and I missed this one putting this one on. Good thing I was looking for something. Or I'd have never found it. Oh, I bet you I know what I did on that other page. I'll look here in a second. Get this on. Get this one down. It does make it a little harder when it's together to get the crease in here, but it helps me so much in other ways that that's just, come on, fingers, work. Work, work, work. Okay. I'm going to rub this just another couple times here. Make sure it sticks. Okay. I think I know what I did was, um, this is what I had planned to do at the beginning. And then I had changed my mind and I was only gonna use one of those and make a pocket, a little tuck pocket, but that's okay. It was my original thought, so we'll just leave it. And then this one I'm going to do that with. This piece goes here, and then this piece is going to go down here, and it's going to be a little pocket. That's, that's what we're doing. Hold on, Grace. Sorry, my fur baby is at the door whining because I didn't let her in, but hey, she didn't want to come up when I did. She doesn't like to be alone. I don't think the cat is a consolation to her. Okay. Now this one we're just going to do the three sides because I want to make this a little tuck spot. So I'm going to put it down here as far down as I can get it to go. Over. Come on. There we go. Didn't want to go where I wanted it to go, but it will. All right. Can I get this? No, I can't. I can slide it a little bit. That'll work. I just need to get a hold of it. Make sure that bottom sticks. Because sometimes when it's on like a roll, it doesn't want to. The glue doesn't want to stick right away, so you got to kind of finesse it. Let me move this out of my way before I get it gluey. Make sure it got down on both sides. Yeah, okay. Okie dokie. Because I'm thinking once that's dry, I might put my little booklet in there, or we might just put um, some tags in there or something. We have lots of pockets. I like lots of pockets. This one I am going to put a piece behind. Oh, what's the front of this look like? Yeah, see, this was the very, that one page I said we were going to put back till last, because it had this pretty flower on it, and I didn't want to mess it up too much. I had to cut a little bit of it off, but I didn't want to mess it up too much, and it still has the, the rosa word on there. I'll see if I can find what I want. That's not quite long enough. We'll use this one, I think. Yeah. This way. Okay.
get in there. My husband must be back. I think I hear him downstairs, and I don't hear the dog whining anymore, so she must have went down to see him. I'm surprised she wasn't barking when he came in. She usually barks. I know the grandkids definitely cannot get up in the morning without us knowing it when they're here because she sleeps in bed with us and she will whimper and whine and, and, and fuss at you until you get up. If them kids are up, you get up too. Go watch them. <laughs> she just loves them. She has to come up uh, when I put them to bed at night. I usually come up and read them a story and tuck them all in and she will come up and jump on the bed with them and she tries to lick their face all over the place. But she just loves the kids. She won't want to sleep with them though. Which I don't think Andrew minds. He's he's not real wild about her sleeping with him. He loves her and he plays with her, but He's, he's not real wild about her sleeping in his bed. Of course, I think if she slept in his bed once, she wouldn't be wild about it either because I have slept with the boy before when he was a little bit younger. And uh, I'll tell you what, he is all over the bed. I woke up with him, his belly on my face. <laughs> He is not a good one to sleep with. I feel sorry for the woman he marries. <laughs> Unless he calms down by then, but man, he is everywhere in the bed. Okay. I'm just rambling on today. Probably stuff you guys could care less about. <laughs> Gotta have somebody to talk to. Okay. I'm going to go to this spot right here when I come up. Let's make him lay down there. I think right in there, too. Whoops. I took the dress right off my glue bottle. Oh, man. I'll get in there. Okay. And hold on to nothing to this. Then you behave and lay down. There you go. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Okay. I'm just trying to work this spine a little bit to uh, not be so stiff because I want it to give a little more than it wants to give, and I'm going to win. Because I am the boss of to you. My niece used to say when she was little, you're not the boss of to me. Okay. So we have that all done. I have trying to get this glue off my finger. <laughs> all right. So we have our pages all covered. So now it's just down to... Um, decorating and putting our little tickets and stuff in and a closure on um, I have a pocket here I think the closure that I'm going to use is I have some little um, I don't know what they're actually called and I think they're Tim Holtz um, I'm not sure what they're called but they look like little doorknobs once you get them on they screw in through the back and depending on if this is thick enough, which I think it'll screw down that tight. And then I might put an elastic piece on the back here and just um, put it on there. I'm thinking about that. I haven't decided for sure yet, but, but as far as the embellishments, we have our little booklet. I really wish this was on the front side instead of the back side, but it wasn't like that, which I thought looked kind of odd, but it is what it is. So we're going to put something on here. Um, not sure what yet, but something. I have a little butterfly over here, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that's purple. It's the wrong color. So that won't work. Will that fit? I could. 
cut that as a little square and put that on there. Or uh, I'm not sure what language this is, so I'm not sure what this says to do. Loqui Prades Imaginaire is real. Sounds French to me, and I would say that word's imagine. Um, if anybody knows what that says, let me know. I'm gonna have to look it up. But I'm pretty sure that's imagine. Imagine there. But anyway, we could put one of these on the front, maybe. I knew what that said, I might use it. <laughs> I think they should put a thing in there that tells you what they say in different languages so we know. Parity. Parity, I've heard that before. I think that is French. I don't know, I think that just looks like too much. What well, actually, let's let me see here, I have over here a piece of book page. Let me try something here real fast. Because I want something on there. Just not sure what yet. But I'm wondering if I, let me see if I can make this some kind of a shape here. I ink this up. It's a little long right there. Oops, it go me. It go me. Maybe up here in the corner. And then put something like that. I don't know. I think that's too big. But back to this, and it's not quite as um, busy. I couldn't think. Because this is kind of busy. So we really don't want something else that's kind of busy. But maybe a strip of this and then they can write something on the, maybe see if we can get the words go the right way. I'm gonna end up having to get another piece of paper because I'm gonna tear this one all up and then not use it. I think that might be all right. If I cut this about, I don't know, right there. About right here. Let me try that. Worst thing we can do is waste this little piece. Of course, we won't waste it because if nothing else, we'll fussy cut that out and use this little box at the bottom. Let's, let's just see. I'm a visual person. I got to see it. If I ink that paper and put that there, I kind of like that. And then maybe a word down here. Let's try that. Let's try it. A number or a word or something. Gotta have something. Okay. Alright, let's ink this. Sorry if that noise bothers anyone. I know some people don't like that. There. And let's see what words we have. Um, let me get my ephemera book. Oh, I got too much stuff in my way. I have a hard time visualizing things with so much stuff in my way. All right. Slide you up. Let's see what kind of uh, words do we have. This one to be small but superb. What's this one say? Just love. Oh, I like that one on there. What do we have here? We got some numbers. What, who, where. 
Who oh, not those? I oh, know we'll look at that. We'll look. Serene. I don't like the way the words are on that. Um, dream about. She was happy. Uh, let's try this one. Let's move down out of my way for a minute. this one real fast too just so we know decide which one we want to use I'm thinking this one might be too big on there all right so if we put let's put this up in that corner and we put this here we can either put just love across there or yeah I don't really like that so I think we're going back to this one. I inked it up and I didn't cut it yet. I don't like when the letters are just square. So I like to go around them. Just not a lot, just a little bit. to Just give it a little more character than just so flat. It's just a personal preference of mine, but you do what you want, what like you like. You do you. All right. I think that's going to work. I'm just going to ink it up again, of course. Because I just cut all my ink off. This is why I use go through so much ink, I think. And those of you out there who don't like the ink inking, um, but have never done it, Try it once because I didn't like it at first either. But once I did it, I really liked the way it looked. Because it, it looks so much different when you do it yourself than when you're doing it or watching it on a video. Because it, it looks different than it does on a video. And especially in like um, envelopes and stuff, I love it when the creases are inked. I just think it looks cool. I like it. But even after you do it, you may not like it still, but give it a try. Give it a chance. See what you think. Use this. I think it gets more of a surface area. And I bought it. May as well use it. Okay, now do I want to round those corners, do you think? Or do you like the sharp corners? Uh... I think we're just going to leave the sharp corner since it's um, a square book. If I had rounded these corners, then I might round this, but I don't follow the rules, whatever they are. I know there's one rule that you're supposed to put things on in, in threes. It's more pleasing to the eye, but sometimes I like that, sometimes I don't. I'm a rule breaker. I'm a rebel. I just do me. Do what I can do and hope it's good enough. Okay. Um, let's go up here above because I don't want to go clear through the starfish because I kind of like him there. And I want to leave a little room down here in case somebody wants to put something on there. Um, and maybe when we go to decorate our book, I might put a little flower or two or something on there. It'll give me time to think about it anyway. Okay. Let me get this out of our way. Okay. Now, speaking of envelopes, this did come with a little envelope. So we're going to make him need this. Let me get these little bits of paper out of my way. That one's big enough I could use. I have all my little scraps over here, too, that we're going to use some of those for embellishments and... May add some pockets, you never know. Let me get my uh, board here. All right. Um, oh. 
can't think of the name of it now. It's just lost my left my head. You know what it is. Um, send it to me. It's a uh, yeah. Well, it's a it's a, a, a folding helper. I can't for the life of me think of the name of this. That is crazy. Just creasing where these lines are that we're going to fold on. I know that's a bone folder. <laughs> Can't for the life of me think what this thing is called, but y'all know what it is. It'll come to me probably at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning when I'm trying to sleep. That's usually when stuff comes to me. We were watching a movie the other day and... Um, we're talking about uh, or there's this, the Queen show and we were talking about the um, having you know like the the Queen Mother and stuff and I said well you know nuns are that way too something like and I could not think of what the Mother Superior is called the Mother Superior I could not think of that to save my life but 3 o'clock in the morning when I couldn't sleep popped right in my head you guys ever have that happen to you? No, because y'all spring chickens, right? Okay. Keep wanting to call it a, a, a folding board, but that's not what it is. I would say this... Well, which one's the inside? This looks like the outside, but this has like a little... I guess you can use it either way you want. But I would say the lighter side's the inside. So that's the way we're going to do it. Even if it's wrong. I know you're already yelling what that thing is called to me. But I'm just not receiving it today. It really drives me crazy, though, when I can't think of the name of something. Or a word. You can't think of a word. Kind of makes you feel like you're going crazy. But I read somewhere. I just I folded right on their lines and look, that is not straight at all. Well, we're going to fix it because I can't have that. I read somewhere that if you are more or less scatterbrained, most of the time, you're less likely to get Alzheimer's, so I guess I'm safe. <laughs> okay. Do we like that? Yeah, I like that. Okay. I'm going to glue just this part down. Now, you could leave this open if you want to put it, like, in your signature. You could leave it open and sew your signature in and then do it so it'll hide your um, strings. But I think we're going to put it in a pocket. Because we have a lot of bulk in our center anyway from all the envelopes. So I don't want to stress the book out. Come on, I have to that. I stuck that right under there. I really think this year is going to be a blessed year. Um, we even have a lady on our Facebook group that messaged me last night and asked if I would mind if she did a giveaway. And I was like, well, no, I would not mind at all. I think that would be great. The members would love it. And she is giving away a $25 to someone in the U.S.'s uh, PayPal account and $25 to someone in the international PayPal account. So that's $50 she's given away, which in these day and age is a lot of money. And I just think that is just the sweetest thing. And then we have people that are, are posting um, free images. Um, I know Natalie has put up there a, a, a free... Um, Three free pages of images that um, are from a digital kit of hers. And they are so pretty. 
for the um, group members to use. I'm just so blessed to have the group itself because these ladies are just phenomenal. Okay, that looks good. It still looks crooked up there. They did not make this envelope very well. I am disappointed in them. That, of course, it's good in a, a book of mine because it looks... Did I not fold it right? No, because that wouldn't... I don't know. Maybe me. Maybe maybe it's just me. Because Stamperie is usually pretty good, so it's probably just me. Maybe I fold it wrong. But it still looks like an envelope. Unless you look really, really close. But I am going to ink this. I mean, it's not like way off. But it just kind of wondered with it being a paper pack envelope. I'm surprised it wasn't a little straighter. Of course, you know, machines make mistakes too. Okay. And now, this is what I'm talking about. Especially on a white envelope, when you ink the crease right here. I just really like that. Especially on a white envelope. So I usually will crease all her ink all my creases on my envelopes because I just think it's so pretty that way. Okay, so we just need to find a spot for that. This ready to go in our book. We have some tags here. I think we're going to put um, lace pulls on them like we did um, the big one in there. That's trash. Let me put that over with my scraps. I will use my little cutter that somebody gave me. I just love this thing. I just appreciate it so much, too. I'm sure there's something you can do with those little things if you make them. I would love to make one of those little... Um, and I'm just chatty Kathy today, aren't I? I didn't get much sleep. That's part of my problem. But, uh... I would love to be able to make or to make one of those little tiny journals. I think they're so cute. I just don't know. I'm going to try it sometime. So we may try it in a video and it may or may not turn out, but I really want to try it. I'm just not sure my hands will allow me to do it, but but we're going to we're going to try one time. It comes or this uh, kit this um, paper pack comes with a lot of tags I like that I like a lot of tags and they're double-sided so you don't have to oh. shook at the wrong minute and almost had that one all messed up but the thing that reminded me of the little ones was I thought there's got to be something in a little tiny journal you could use those for, but me and little tiny things don't do well. Okay. So we're going to take our... I just had that out. What did I do with it? <laughs> oh, there it is. I lost my lace. I think... Let's see. Let's take one and see. You know, that'll fit through there. And I think we don't want them real, real long. I think that's good right there. Well, it didn't cut very well because I don't have my fabric scissors. Okay, there's one. How many we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of them. So we're just going to measure them and cut. Two, three, and they don't have to be the same size. They don't have to be perfect. Four, five, six, seven, I can count to ten. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put these through here. Through there. 
Now I can either glue this on or I can um, staple it on. Some people have them little gold staples, which are really cute. Um, I like the staples in there. I think they look cute, even if they're not gold. And I'll show you. Of course, it's a little more difficult for me to do, but... Okay. There. See? Okay. I don't like that they're uneven, though. So there. But see? That looks cute. And also, if you don't glue them and you staple them, you know, say somebody doesn't like that lace, they can take it out, put a different kind in, or put a ribbon in, or so many different things that you could do. This is very tedious. Okay, I'm not going to do all these on camera because... You get the idea, and if I was to do it, maybe I'll do it this way, it'd be easier. Yeah. Well, it'd take me forever to sit here and do them all in front of you. So, well, maybe it wasn't easier that way, because look, I missed. So let's get this one. But you get the gist of how to do it, and, and like I said, you can glue them, you can put ribbon in them, you can put twine through them, you can do anything you want. You can put regular little holes. I just really like this punch. Uh -huh. So, I'll have those. I'll do those between now and Monday. I'll finish up these so that we have those to put in our book. And then this, to me, looks like a bookmark. It could be a tag, but... I think it looks like a bookmark. And I think I may laminate this. You can use the double-sided clear um, plastic. Um, I actually have a laminating ma machine, which I love. So I will laminate this. And I will do that before Monday. Get these over there so I don't lose them. That out of my way because I don't need it right now. And then we have these cards. Um, you can use for tags. You can just put them in and... Uh, people can journal on there, or they can put a picture on there if they wanted to, you know, however they want to do it. But they like, look like they're stitched around the edges. So if we want to add any more pockets inside our journal somewhere, we have these we can use. Um, oh, there's another tag. I don't put him up there. I have to put a hole in him. Um, this came with the kit, and it's just like a, just a, a postcard almost it looks like a postcard but it's not really a postcard because it doesn't have the postcardy like stuff but it's a really pretty um just a, a, a journaling card that you can slide in one of the pockets so we have that that so we'll put in the pocket um some more of these there's that same saying if anybody knows what that is let me know um, could look it up but I, I don't really have time to do all that too much stuff going on. Um, and then we have these big ones. Now these, um, I w was thinking about putting, especially in the front, putting it in here like a pocket. So we have a pocket in the front and I think I will do that. I was thinking about that yesterday when I was looking at it, cutting them out. And, or not cutting them out. What was I doing? Oh, cutting them into the pages to fit the pages. I really don't need a whole lot of ink on these other than down in like the white core. It has that stitching on it that looks really cute. Now you can um, stitch these on your pages uh, with your sewing machine. Which a lot of times I do do. I didn't this one, but a lot of times I do um, stitch around there and then put it on. But this already looks like it has stitching, so we're not going to worry about it on this one. Uh-oh. Didn't use my glue. And I didn't cut it, cut it back up. Now, which way am I going here? I'll make sure that way. Okay. Make sure I'm not gluing it closed and putting glue on the wrong side. Come on. 
my either my hand stopped working or my glue stopped working. Hopefully, it's the glue. Come on. Yeah, make sure. Oh, it's good. There we go. There was the glue. Okay. Um, I'm going to put a pool in it. Just because I like them. Okay. Yeah, that fits on there really good. Really good. And it's a nice big pocket. And I'm gonna squish the sides and make it even more roomy. But all kind of stuff in there. I've been trying to think. This middle piece just wants to keep coming up. Evidently didn't get enough glue in that. I didn't wait for it to dry before I folded it back. That's probably what it was. When I was working my spine, I didn't wait for that to dry. So yeah, you want to kind of wait for them to dry. My little temporary tape is coming loose too where I just trying to hold it closed for myself. Coming apart at the seams. Just this one piece wants to hinder me. There, I think we got it. There we got it. One little pocket there. There we got it. Okay. So we have a pocket on the inside there. I like that. Now, do we want to do that to the back too? I should have used this on the back here and this on the inside, but... It didn't matter. We didn't, so this is what it is there. So we could put this on the back, just in the middle. Hmm. I kind of do like that. Hmm thinking I'm thinking do I want to put it on now or do I want to put my ribbon on here first or my oh wait a minute I do have this piece of lace that I could put on there hmm Direction does this go this way? You see, that'll cover it up too much. So it's either this or that. Or this on the front and put that on the back. I don't want it to cover my butterfly completely up, but I don't mind if it covers it a tiny bit um, like that. And then we could still put that on there in the middle, of course. And that wouldn't cover as much of it up. Or we could just leave it the plain with the lace. Comment below, which do you think I should do? Do you think I should put this on the back or no? And do you like the lace this way? Well, it would be more like that way because I don't want to cover my butterfly completely. Comment below, and I'll wait till Monday to do that and check your comments out. But I'm kind of leaning toward that, but I, I don't know. I'm very indecisive today. Now this looks like it's in English. So I wonder why this would be in English, but all the tags and stuff would be in a different language. Who knows? Maybe you're not supposed to analyze it that much. That could be the problem. Okay, well, let me know about that.
and we will take up from here and we'll do our decorating. I'll get this stuff all um, ready to go in the pockets. Um, and then I'll get some doodads out and bits and bobs and we'll decorate it up nice and pretty. I do know I want to put these. Um, I have two different kinds on the corners just to give it a little more stability since it is an envelope and, and kind of thin. And I have this one, we'll call this A. So this is A and it's a little thicker. Or we have this one, we'll call it B. And it's a little thinner. So this is A, this is B. Put down what you think, which one you think I should use. This one's actually like an antique silver, and this is more of a silver silver, too. So that is the difference. Silver silver, and it's got a different decoration. And it's thinner. Or the thicker, filigreed-like, which is A. And it's more of an antique silver. So A or B. Tell me which one you, you like the best. And we'll go from there. I think, I know I have plenty of those. I think I have four of the other one. Yeah, I do. Okay, yeah. So I have enough. I'm making sure I didn't use two on something else. Okay. Um, you guys have a great day. Enjoy your uh, New Year's Day if you're watching today. Or I hope you enjoyed your New Year's Day yesterday if you're not watching today because some people may wait. Um, but yeah, I'll get this stuff ready. We'll get it decorated and Monday we will finish it up. Have a great day. Show the girls down below some love. Stay safe. Stay safe. Stay warm. <laughs> God bless. Bye-bye.